Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to Chippy Gaming. It has been a really long time since we did a classic intro and also a little while since I've made a video on the channel. So hey, welcome back. Hope you've all been doing well. Today we're picking up our adventure in the Hero's Quest. Now don't worry if you didn't see part one, I'm going to recap the story really quick. It's an adventure map. The stories are, are kind of simple. It, it's not too hard to follow, but I'm really excited for today. I think it's going to be good. I think we might finish the map today. So our adventure began here in Oak Hills. We woke up. We were told we are the finest warrior of Woke Hills. Woke Hills? <laughs> that sounds like that sounds like something else. Woke Hills. That's where you want to live when you've become truly woke. Anyway, we woke up in Oak Hills. Forgive me. Uh, and we were told that our house had unfortunately burnt down. And the reason it had been burnt down is because the crimson is slowly spreading east into the town. Now, the mayor told us that we have to go on a quest to go and warn the other towns of the crimson. So we started going uh, west. Yeah, we started going west. Once we went west, we found out that the scientists were the ones that were responsible for bringing the crimson to the world and letting it spread loose. We killed the Eye of Cthulhu. It was amazing. It was really cool. But then we found sanctuary in this mini biome here. So this all used to be jungle, but then it was overrun by the crimson. But these people have managed to survive by building a dome around themselves and using a meteorite for a light source. We showed up. They didn't kill us, even though we breached the wall and we weren't meant to. And now we can linger around the town and help out the townspeople, or we can crack on. So, let's do a little bit of both. Welcome back. I am pumped. I really am. So, this is where the, the court case went down, as you can see. I'm having trouble hearing you. Siri? I don't think anyone's having trouble hearing me. I'm loud as oak. <laughs> okay. Um, but this is what they said. We've made up our minds. You've exposed our settlement to grave danger by opening that door, but we wouldn't hurt a fellow survivor. You're welcome to stay for a bit. Help us out with some of the daily tasks. Um, and then there was this quest right here. You ask one of the elders, what are these circular slots for? He answers with a sad tone. There we kept our great ambers. They were a reminder of when this jungle covered miles and miles across this land. Unfortunately, a horde of spiders attacked us a couple of weeks ago. They took the amber as a trophy. If anyone is here is strong enough to retrieve it, we can go and get it. All right, side quest. Pull the lever to accept. Mission accepted. Arachnid Assault. So I'm expecting spiders to jump out of nowhere any moment now. Now, I think, it's, I think it's in here. This is the little area where we went to sleep at the end of the episode. So, yeah, I guess we, we linger around. This is the doors where we came in. All right, I think I think you're all caught up. I think, I think we're good. A masked lizard-like figure speaks to you. Hello there, stranger. I hear you'll stay for a while here. We've prepared this little cabin for you. You can have some sleep if you want. Uh, side note, especially... In this place, you'll see some custom furniture. They're made of in-game furniture. All right. <laughs> okay, cool. This is the only custom furniture I care about, all right? This is this is it. Do you have any more of these? Stipulate, please. Um, you can buy ale from Jerry and Dals from Yutpan. The tavern keep approaches you. Hello, stranger, can you help me? Since I've arrived here, I've been working as a blacksmith, uh, so I need some wood to fuel the forge. Can you grab me some rich mahogany? Side quest, Lumberjack Lesson. The axe is on the chest. So we've got a lot of side quests to do. Not too bothered about that one. Um, an exotic looking woman greets you. Hi there, adventurer. I'm Faye, the Triad. Okay. I have a mission for you. There is a slime infestation in one of our caves. We have to get rid of them, but we wouldn't hurt those poor creatures. Can you take care of the problem? Side quest, Slime Slaughter. Pull the lever to accept. I accept. Mission accepted. Is this a teleporter? Use the wood you've acquired to get to the other side and collect the reward. Oh, <laughs> let me go back. All right. So we didn't do the wood one, uh, which we might do. I just want to figure out how to do one of the ones we've already accepted. Ooh, hello. So Phi and Dars. It seems some scientists survived the crimson and have been living here. A goblin scientist comes to greet you. Hey there, new guy. We've been meaning to talk to you. They found our old lab. Uh, you tell them and his cyborg friend everything you encountered on the laboratories. 
And you also tell them you'd love to help recover their research. All right, so we're talking about we actually went there. Actually, there is something you can do for us. We need to collect seven buckets of honey, but we're busy taking care of a set of chemical reactions here. We can't leave. Otherwise, the entire chemistry table could light up. We'd be very grateful if you grabbed those buckets for us. Side quest, honey heist. Pull the lever to accept. When you've done collecting the honey, please put it in the collection tube over here. Also put the honey under the sensor. All right, okay, cool. So we gotta, we gotta get some, some honey and fill this up with seven buckets. Okay, let's also accept. Bam, mission accepted. Honey heist. So we got a lot of things to crack on with. I'm assuming this might be the, the honey one. Okay, I, we need seven buckets, <laughs> right? Do we need seven buckets? I might see if there might actually be some buckets over here. Oh wait, what's that sign? To the sticky caverns. Hmm, this must be the slime infested cave the dryad spoke about. You must have accepted this mission to proceed. I see the honey though. I can see it there and so let's grab the buckets if there are any. Are any of these like storage units? Oh, that's a, that's a chair. Um, I don't think so. I'm not very good. I'm not very good at like recognizing which ones are the storage ones or not. Okay. So which way to the slime infested ones? Oh, Christ. No, come on. <laughs> come on now. Do not enter. Spider's nest. This must be the nest of spiders that took the ambers. Well, I guess I'll fight my way through. Okay, so we've, we have accepted this. So we've got the finch staff. We've got the amethyst staff. And we've also got a boomerang as well. So we've got to kill spiders, basically. We've got to kill spiders. Slowly, I'm assuming. All right, every time we step on a block, it activates more spiders. <laughs> This is a terrible idea, and I'm not a big fan of it. All right, so they've got shine potions and soup. A bowl of soup. Okay, right, we just got to kill all the spiders. Oh, God. <laughs> this is hard. Spiders are, are really difficult. Like, what? what is this about? Oh, God. <laughs> I know full well. I know full well that I'm not going to be able to kill these spiders. It's going to take forever. I mean, look at that. Like, what is that about? There's too many spiders. It's just too many. It's all right, because we have set our spawn point. So technically, we could uh, Leroy Jenkins it inside and and just grab what we need to grab. Um, so it's not even like a good weapon that we can use. We just have to deal with this. All right, let's just let's Leroy Jenkins it in. All right, let's bat him out of the way. Oh god, oh god. All right, okay. I'm assuming. No, come on, come on, come on, come on, please. All right, that's that's going to be a chest, right? Oh god, why is there bees now? All right, loot all. So we got some poisonous knives. Great. <laughs> Great. Just, just what I wanted. Thanks. Thanks, game. Uh, let's go down this way. See, the thing is, I don't want to... Because when you climb up, when you step onto these, I think these are where the pressure pads are. All right. Oh, God. Hey, I tell you what. These poisonous knives are decent. Wow. That was actually well worth it. I'm going to... I think the other one's up here in the, the top left. Have we got a grapple on this character? No. All right, to be fair, that would be pretty easy if we did. All right, jump up here. Oh, God. <laughs> we don't want to get knocked down. Come on now. Be kind to me, game. Be kind to me. All right, jump up here. Yeah, with the poisonous knives, this is made much easier, and I appreciate that. All right, we want to go that way. So this is the thing. You want to try to get rid of the, the cobwebs, basically. Hey, do you know how I was like, oh, you can kind of Leroy Jenkins your way in here? Not really, because of the fact that... You drop the amber gems, don't you? When you um, when you get when you die. Oh god! All right, I think we. <laughs> if once we kill these bees, we should be all right. Oh god! Please, bees, bees, come on now! Why are bees like the worst thing in Terraria now? <laughs> What's that about? All right, there we go. All right, we got him. We got him. Here's another one. Time to get out of here. Do I have a recall potion? All right, so let's put these in. Bam, bam. Hey, you retrieved our village's uh, ambers. We couldn't thank you enough. In that spirit, here's a little prize for defeating the foes. Mission complete. Arachnid assault. So where's my where's my prize? <laughs> Where is it? Please. Um, am I am I getting anything? <laughs> it's probably down here. All right, let's 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 find out. So yeah, which which way is it going to be? Yeah, I think I think it'll probably be. Oh wait, is that it? Ah, that's it. All right, this opened up now. Okay, awesome. So what's my prize? Feral claws? 
So this allows for auto swing. That's kind of cool. We've got a compass. We also got some diamonds, which we're counting for secrets. Apparently, I missed many a secret in part one. So don't worry about that. But I am curious. If you do play this on your own, you'll have to let me know what um what secrets you got. Right. We want to actually do this one. We're going to do the wood one. Lumberjack lesson. Okay. So what do we need to get? We've got the axe. And where do we get the wood from again? Uh, I need wood. The axe is on the chest. Once you're done, flick the switch next to the forge while standing in the teleporter. Okay, we just we just need wood. Do we just get wood from anywhere? I think we do, right? Can you grab some rich mahogany? All right, so we do, do we just look around for trees? I'm assuming that they're going to be down here. Because that's where... This seems to be like the epicenter of everything. Is epicenter even a word? I don't know why I said that. <laughs> like, is that actually a thing? What is this? To the sticky caverns. Uh, I clicked it, but nothing happened. Oh, there we go. All right, this is the sticky caverns. So we need to kill all the slimes to, to complete this one. All right, this one shouldn't be too hard. Killing slimes is not so bad. Killing spiders on the other end? I'm... Wait, 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 wait. I'm assuming... I'm assuming we're probably going to have to do the... the yep, yeah, the king slime. Yep, yeah, here we go. Yeah, this makes sense. All right. Okay. You finally understand why there are so many slimes here. There's a king slime that's taken over the cave as a home for its offspring. Well, time to fight. Fight king slime. Once you're done, climb the rope to get back up. Great note. This fight is way harder than it seems. Mind your space. All right. So what do we get? A carton of milk. Really? I didn't... Honestly, there's so many foods in 1.4 that I don't know about. And we also got a switch. Fight king slime. Once you're done, climb the rope to go back up. Okay. All right. Let's, let's try this out. I really wish I had those poison knives now. This is going to be rock solid, I think. I think it's going to be way harder than, than we're anticipating. What's this over here? Choose your treasure. Up is ranger. Down is summoner. Place the switch. Oh, that's really cool. I like that. So you can choose which reward you get for doing the mission. All right. Let's try and kill the king slime then. I think I'm going to really struggle. All right. We'll buff up. Uh, we've, got a little, we've got a little minion. All right. Not bad. We've also got this. Okay, right. I, th I think we can do this. I think we'll be all right. Okay, let's begin. Let's begin. The only problem with this... Oh, God. All right. If you can stay down there, King Slime, that'd be awesome. <laughs> the good thing about this is it might actually get easier as the King Slime gets smaller. Mainly because of the fact that... um. Oh, yeah. No, this is rock solid. What am I thinking? <laughs> it's going to be well hard. <laughs> all right. Uh, Finch Staff. Target that. I was thinking, oh, it'll be it'll be easier because we can jump around a bit more. Wow, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not beating this with my setup. Yeah, I've got no chance. I have absolutely no chance of beating that. So, unfortunately, I only have one more summon left, but I do have a banner now. So, I'm going to use the banner to hopefully get a little bit more, uh, you know, attacking power, right? Because you've got to kill a lot of blue slimes. And it's like, I have no chance of killing these blue slimes. All right, let's begin. Like I say, this is our final attempt. All right, let's make it good. Um, King Slime. All right, where you at? All right, so we're going to try to stay on the rope for as long as we can. All right? <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not. I think maybe... I don't know what the key is. Is the key to, to move around a bit more? Do you know what I mean? Like, move left to right, up and down and all that? Because I think once you get to here, once you've kind of lowered it down onto a different platform, you're kind of out of options, really. The only thing that would be amazing is if I could get loads of extra life from something. All right, we healed up. <laughs> it will not last for long. Yeah, I think this is like, I don't know, maybe an impossible challenge for right now. I am trying my best. I'm trying my best. Maybe if you get it to a certain level, you can... Oh, manu oh there you go. That kind of works. No. <laughs> Give me that health, please. All right. One, I think one or two more hits and we're a goner. <laughs> this is not... This is not my day for this. I have so little health. Please. All right. The King Slime is a no-go, unfortunately. Ooh. So I think this is the uh, the mahogany tree that we're meant to cut down so that we can get the, the Lumberjack reward. Oh, and there's also this one as well. All right. So at least we've done one of the side quests. After the failure of, of King Slime, I did feel pretty bad. I was like, why, why, why did this happen? The other thing is we need the we need buckets to, to fill up this honey. I don't know where we get the buckets from. So I'm going to need to like look around a little bit more. 
Unless I didn't read one of the signs right. It might actually tell you where to get the buckets. Um, we'd be very grateful if you grabbed... Oh, okay. We need seven buckets of honey. We can't leave or the thing will light up. We'd be very grateful if you grab those buckets for us. Once we're done collecting the honey. Where is... Oh, sciencey stuff. Hey, there's the buckets. All right. Okay. So let's go and grab the, the honey as well. So then that's uh, two of the side quests done. That makes me feel a little bit better. All right, that's two buckets of honey. I like it because it's like you can kind of figure... This one's not too bad. It's like you just got to, you know, mooch around a little bit and make some good jumps. Like the honey's there, so you kind of got to get it in motion, I'm assuming. Yeah, there we go. All right, so we got a few more to collect. So I need them ones. I grab that one. Uh, is there any more honey around? Hey, there's this one right here. All right, how do I grab that? All right, awesome. So we're done. We've, we've got the wood and we've got the honey. Right, so let's drop that in. Uh, there we go. Mission complete. Honey heist. Okay, awesome. So what do we get for it? We get a goblin tech, which displays movement speed, damage per second, and valuable ore. Uh, we also get a flask of nanites. So that's like a little bit of a bonus for swords and a tally counter. That was <laughs> interesting. I thought we might get, you know, something more substantial. All right, goblin. Very tight. Asking for a big favor there. And, and not really giving much in return. I don't need to know my DPS. All I need to know is I don't have much DPS. Okay, so let's do the, the lumberjack one as well. I don't know if we have to, to mooch around a good bit of this. Oh, is that... Is that... Oh, it's where we collected the honey. Ah, okay. That's cool. Right, so we did the that one. Thanks for the help, dude. Here's a little something I have for you. Hey, awesome. So we got a golden broadsword because we had a, a short sword before. We got a, a flask of gold and another diamond. Awesome. Very nice. So I think that's the that's the side quests. I think we're going to be moving on from here. So so let's get out of here. That was that was interesting. There was some interesting side quests. It's a shame that the I think the King Slime one's a bit overtuned. But what can you do at the end of the day? Like it's an adventure map. You can't just go ahead and and change <laughs> and change how bosses work. Do you know what I mean? Right. So you say farewell to the villagers and continue your journey. You should be near the Great Oak. After you reach it, you'd have to travel across the Vile Badlands. In your map, there's a small mark right at the western border uh, called Stonefield. What does this mean? Anyway, uh, this Stonefield is right before the Water Castle. You're getting closer. All right. Awesome. Okay. Let's head on. Uh, I don't know if I'm meant to go down here. Usually. Oh, God. <laughs> no. This is an endless cycle. All right. Let me out of here. I was going to say, usually if there's a little tunnel like that, it means head out. All right. Bam. There we go. Parkour master. All right. Guinness, world records, please. When will you acknowledge my, my great achievement that is my amazing jumping skills in Terraria? Ooh, a tree. Is this maybe the... Um... See, I think the town's called Great Oak, but this could have been a, a Great Oak. Do you know what I mean? Ooh. Oh, that's sinister. All right. So we set our spawn point. Uh... Ah, that's really cool. I quite like that, to be honest. I really like the Fallen Tuxedo. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll take them off. We look awesome. Red Potion, only for the worthy. Oh, that's a cool vanity. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be all right, thank you. I'll head down. I, I will not take the Red Potion. Right, so let's keep heading on down. And <laughs> it's, a, it's a reward, all right. So we get some Life Hair Dye, another Switch, and a Diamond. Well, we didn't really get to use the other switch. <laughs> so I've just got to kind of... I've got to cast that one aside, all right? I can't be tempted to to steal another reward. But I'm assuming that the switch is going to be used for for something. I guess this area mainly is just for... Um, it's just for a bet. It's for a respawn point. I can appreciate it. I'll tell you what, I don't want to walk through the crimson ever again. It's a nightmare. All right, let me out of here. Okay, awesome. All right. On our way we go. Ooh, what is this? Right, that is definitely a spot for uh, a switch. Bam, there we go. Figuring out secrets all the way. Um, and another switch. It's a teleporter, okay. I must be inside the volcano's cave system. What could I find here? Ooh, <laughs> death. <laughs> That's what's about here. Just pure death. Okay, right, let's keep it moving. 
All right, so you don't add... Oh, all right. I, I thought you broke those with, when the player walks by. All right, so we'll set our... Well, you can't set your spawn point here. Uh, in the chest, you find some gear and a diary. Echo team report, April 21st. Uh, the camp is ready. We have everything we need and we'll soon start digging. There seems to be a lot to discover about this old desert. June 7th. As expected, we've been finding a lot of interesting stuff. Earlier today, we found a new crimson ore in the deeper caverns. We have sent a sample. Oh, that is the sample that started all of this. This is where it all began. Wow. So we're right in the center of the chaos. We finally got some more uh, arrows. I'm, I'm very pleased about that. <laughs> okay. You continue reading July 29th. The Crimtain is vile. It started corrupting this place and it was messing with us. It took a toll on Henry. Poor Henry. Today we found him dead. Smashed by a rolling cactus. May God guide his soul. We threw the Crimtain in the volcano's main chamber. If we're lucky, the raging lava destroyed it completely. Anyway, we're leaving. The convoy to Watercastle leaves tomorrow. Farewell, good diary. Okay. Okay. So they they started this and they sent it around the world and then they were like, actually, nah, it's it's bad. <laughs> we shouldn't have done that. Well, now we know. All right, now we know. Scientists, you, your own greatest weakness, I swear. That genius needs to be contained. Okay. All right, a smooch on. Now, I have a feeling, a strong feeling, that we've got to be very careful around this lava. I would not be surprised if we mooched into it any second now. I would also not be surprised if we have to come back here in a little bit, maybe with um, an accessory to help. If it gets annoying, you can mine the sand. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. All right, so this is a jump. Oh, yeah, that is annoying. <laughs> that actually is annoying. Great. <laughs> so, can you actually make that jump? Is that for real? Alright, this is going to be the final time I try the jump. Jump. Did I do it? Oh, I did. No, <laughs> please don't kill me. What? It just gives you a pickaxe. Which I've already got, thank you. <laughs> which I'm not meant to have. And it gives you silk rope coils. Right. Um, let's get rid of these buckets for now. We just got to try and survive. Okay, let's move across. Let's move across. Okay, what is this? Arcade Tumbleweed Terror. There's an electronic voice telling you repeatedly to play the game. Howdy, partner. Press that start button and let's settle this like men. You have a bad feeling about this game. This is an optional side quest. Flick the switch to play. Also, you should enable auto-pause so you can read the dialogue. Do I get a reward? Because <laughs> I need a reward. All right, let's try it. Bam. Ooh. Howdy, partner. Welcome to Tumbleweed Terror. It ain't high noon, but you better start shooting or else pardon won't last long. Uh, grab the revolver on the shine, sheeny shine chest right there and make quick work of it. Ooh, damn. Let's grab that revolver. Give me that. Ooh, damn. All right, this is cool. Um, <laughs> okay, all right, let's get rid of the moon glow. We've also got some golden bullets. We also got a cowboy outfit. All right. I'm going to down the graveyard road. Down the grave. Oh, all right. Okay. It's it's singing Uptown Road. <laughs> That's where we're at. <laughs> this is this is where we're at. It's Uptown Road. I wonder how many you've got to kill. That's the thing. Even though this is, it, this is an adventure map, I'm fully expecting a wyvern to pop up any second. All right. I want to get through the honey. Come on. Stop. <laughs> Let me out. All right, I know there's lava around here. All right, it's there. Okay. Yeah, shut it down. Okay, right. What's this? We got a, a legendary leather whip. Ooh, all right. I'm down for that. Legendary leather whip. Okay. Um, oh, we got so much junk. <laughs> Flask of the Cursed Flames. I'll take that, actually. And another diamond. All right. Bam. Let us out of here. Okay. No, you cannot access that game anymore. But we did get a banging revolver and a whip. Which, amazing. We also got this, which I'm also going to take. Yeah, it was worth it. That was a good little side quest, to be honest. Okay. All right. Let's let's keep moving on anyway. Right. So, tip. This pink candle here is a peace candle. It reduces spawn rates when you're holding it. Uh, of course, you can't get too far away from it. There's a chest around here with one of these candles, so you better start searching for it. Right. Okay. 
So there's a chest with a peace candle that we need to find. This might be hard. <laughs> or it might be super easy, depending on how, how good the game is and how much it likes us. A way out. They really had dug it. Uh, you smile and joy when you see a small elevator. The engine is broken, but you can still throw a coil of rope. <laughs> oh, all right, come on. Come on, let's try this. <laughs> a coil of rope. As you all know, amazing track record with a coil of rope. Bam. Hey, we actually did it. All right, be proud of us. Be proud of us. Okay, let's, let's get on out of here, cowboy. <laughs> Please. Too much to handle in here. I almost don't want to fire at these enemies. I want to save my bullets. I might just run away from them for a bit. It's pretty dark, so I'm going to need to get this out. Okay. We might finally reach Great Oak. The area where we're meant to be. Any moment now. I'm fully expecting to get there. It's been destroyed. Turned to crimson. Turned to ash. Welcome to the village of Stonefield. It seems the village was invaded a long time ago. The not-so-destroyed buildings... Oh. <laughs> okay, right. Stop. 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 Okay. Um, right. The not-so-destroyed building suggests the city was evacuated before the raid. Luckily, none of this stuff was taken. As the Crimson only wants to invade and destroy, you cite a silent prayer, begging that Oak Hills doesn't look like this when you come back. Oh, no. Oh, God. Please. You know the deal. Switch goes here. Well, I do have an extra switch. So I am going to take that. Thank you. <laughs> All right, cool. So is this a bed? This place isn't so wrecked up. You look at the bed, it's small, uncomfortable, and probably hasn't been washed in months. But compared to what you've had to deal with so far, it's a welcome surprise to be sure. Right. Set the spawn point. Awesome. Awesome. And I tell you what, I'm going to sleep until daytime as well. Man, if we get back to Oak Hills it's like this, it's going to be awful. Church of the Lunarian. The church doesn't seem too torn up. Okay. It's because God's been protecting it. Thank you, God. All right. Everybody type thank you, God, in the comments. <laughs> I can't wait for people arriving late to the video. They'll know exactly what you mean. They're just going to be like, wow, people are really enthusiastic for today's episode of this adventure map. Welcome to Stonefield. Well, they weren't lying. It is it is kind of a field, and it is kind of stoned. Do you know what I mean? All right, let's, let's mooch over. Oh, God. The crimson is awful. It's really bad. It's so dark. It's dingy. It's gory. I can't handle it anymore. I just want to... I want to get to the nice part. This is the thing, right? We're heading into the, the work... Like, we want to get to this area and think it's all, all going to be all right, but it definitely isn't. This must be the Water Castle's Great Wall. The Crimson is much closer to the wall than you last gazed upon it from the main watchtower back in your home. You're just in time. Yeah, so we saw this, didn't we? Well, you know, we saw it in, in a limited sense. We went to the watchtower, didn't we? And we could see it far off in the distance, something like that. All right, it's a little secret down here. A creeper set, uh, a pet. No, I, I want my pet. My pet's awesome. And another diamond. Okay, great. Uh, don't mess with the campfires. They light themselves at night. All right. Awesome. This is exciting. This is exciting. Hey, <laughs> how you doing? I'm so confused. I was like, it's actually attacking me. You can combine your accessories here. Note that the crafting menu only considers accessories that are currently in your inventory. You should be able to craft the cell phone. Why would I ever craft the cell phone? Uh, is there any that I need to put together? This is the thing. It's like, you should be able to, but shit, only really if you've, like, gotten everything, right? <laughs> and I'm assuming that I probably haven't. So I can make the GPS. So that is one thing. Uh, I can also make the Mana Band of Regen. Cheers. Yeah, I, I can't make a cell phone. <laughs> I, I, I've missed something. That's fine. Uh, are there any of these accessories we want back on? I guess I'll put the radar on. And the tally counter, because why not? Like, what harm's it doing? We don't look very good with it on, though. I'm going to turn these all off. We're going to look like the the player intended. Right, so... So, we just crack on, I guess. So, let's see. Uh, ooh, okay. This trinket is an enchanted sundial. It allows you to fast-forward a day once every in-game week. You can try it if you want. Please know that it might be useful later. Thanks. <laughs> this map's like, ever played Terraria? <laughs> you ever heard of Terraria? Do you know about it? Oh, this is fancy. I like this. I like this. 
Okay, let's head up here. So there's Matty, he's the fisherman, and there's no there's no dialogue. I was kind of assuming he might say something. Man, it's a surprise that the, the Crimson hasn't wrecked all this. Just in general, like, I've been playing on the world a while. Crimson spreads very quickly. Welcome to Watercastle, capital of the kingdom and residence of our king. You're finally here. All the things you've been through, all the trouble you've had to face along the way, everything led you to this place. Let's enter the castle, shall we? Ooh, are we building up to a conclusion? To the lower levels. Right, let's let's see. Oh, here's the king's room. King Edward, I have come on a humble mission to help in the fight against the Crimson. You tell the king your whole journey. Thank you, brave knight. You've been through thick and thin to come and aid us. As you've traveled across the Crimson, I suppose you know more about it than anyone. We are in short supply of soldiers, you see, and our resources are different. Our men are struggling to keep those invaders off, but we have discovered something. Okay. The abominations seem to have taken the volcano for their own, in their fiery heart of the mountain. The Crimson is stronger than anyone here, anywhere here. Sorry, <laughs> I got a little bit lost then. Uh, so there must be a mastermind that commands the Crim legions. If you could defeat it, hopefully we can save the rest of the land before it's too late. You must go only if you want, but please consider taking this last mission. Down in the underground levels of this castle, there are free trials meant for the chosen hero who's supposed to defeat the Crimson. I believe in you. Good luck. Okay. Awesome. So we need to go down to the lower levels to do some challenges. Right, so I think before we proceed... We should probably explore a little bit of this. It's very nicely built, I will say. I mean, this is very wholesome at the top. <laughs> okay. Wow. Gorgeous. Uh, to the king's accommodations. Restricted access. <laughs> I feel like we should probably... Should we go check it out? To the king... Uh, to the court's bedrooms. You won't stay for long. There's no need to go here. All right. Let's try it. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Goblins playing poker. Ooh, very fancy. This part up here is, is gorgeous. I almost feel like this is probably going to be the thumbnail. Just up here. Like, right here is thumbnail. <laughs> I, might, <laughs> I might actually just take the thumbnail now. <laughs> I think I'm going to commit to it. Right, down to the lower levels. Bam. Let's buff up. All right. The persistency of eyes. Oh, this is the painting. This is the goblin tinkerer alongside a red-headed girl. Who could she be and where is she now? Damn. Ooh, the old man seems oddly familiar. Those red eyes. Okay, all right. Um, Let's find out these challenges. What <laughs> you get here? Oh, so we, we need to find out who the hero is. Are you any good at golf? We just got, got to do 12 holes. That's what it is. Man, what's this? Defected trap chest. Do not open. Oh, you did it. You crazy son of a bick. You did it. Hell yeah, I did. I bet you were dying to get this. Insert loud horn noise. You get it? Because, oh, 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 great. Thanks. Thanks. Good, good joke. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> now it's like you can't get out. All right. That's pretty funny. <laughs> that's good. All right. Uh, you should set your spawn point. The trials tend to be gruesome. Don't ask why. Matter of fact, no one's lived to tell why. <laughs> Look at how convenient the party girl's name is. Destiny. Wow. Oh, I like that. And a chippy's couch. No way. All right. Uh, these must be the trials the king spoke of. Read the notes in the other room first. Okay. So we got three of them. Uh, here we go. Under the painting is a small prophecy. A day may come when the kingdom fails, evil spreads, and crimson prevails. But as darkness rises, light comes to meet it, an abomination and a hero destined to kill it. That really annoyed people when I read that out in the last episode, because it doesn't rhyme. I kind of agree, <laughs> but I'm not that bothered about it. You remember the pro prophecy from your home's western border. It's been about you all this time. Wow. Okay, right. So, let's go. Trial of Strength, aka the first one. Only the bravest of warriors shall conquer this room's swift and powerful reward. Swift and powerful. Ooh, okay. Right, so what's going on here? I hear boss music. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> right, I'm really glad we got the uh, Flask of Icor. The best thing about the Flask of Icor, to my understanding, is that it actually um, doesn't run out when you die, does it? Sticks around. 
Okay, so this is the problem with stuff like this when it comes to these sensors. Is you need to actually stay in the area or you're endlessly going to spawn in enemies like this and you're not actually going to have a chance to beat them. Okay, yeah, see? it's That's annoying. <laughs> it's so annoying. Come on now. So I've got to wait by and basically heal up before I can proceed. Oh, God. Christ. Oh, oh, I think I know why. I didn't grab an obsidian shield in the first part. I think that's what's happened. I think that's what I was meant to grab. That's why it's so annoying. I'll tell you what, I'm going to rectify that real quick, actually. Right, so I've got a shield now. I remember now in, in the in the first part, people are like, you didn't you didn't grab the, the stuff that helps with parkour and stuff. Yeah, this makes a lot more sense now. <laughs> this is like actually ob ob obtainable. I apologize, map creator. I hope you still appreciate me. All right, don't don't remove the couch from the from the from the adventure map. It's it's too good. <laughs> okay, right. So I'm gonna swap it to one. There we go. This is a good thing about getting the um, the auto swing, which is nice. So we're meant to put a switch there, but I don't actually have one. So we might have to go find a switch. I'm not too sure. Right, let's finish these wraiths off anyway. God, these wraiths are really strong. Wow. These last a really long time. And we've only got eight minutes left on um, on this i -core, And I really do want to keep it. Or this flask. Is there a chest around here? Oh, that's the chest. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. I actually thought it was a music box. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I was like, that's a music box for sure. Right. Oh, God, golems. <laughs> I was like, I can just escape these wraiths. Never mind. Right, so I'm assuming golems are going to spawn back in. So I'm going to get this sword out. Maybe not. All right. <laughs> I've managed to escape them. No, it's just sharks. It's just, it's actual sharks. That's, that's what we have to fight against. Sharks. Really? What is this? I do not see myself in an aquarium here. All right. <laughs> This is bullying. <laughs> what is that? Oh, it's a unicorn. No way. Come on now, game. I don't know about that. No. <laughs> I will not die to a unicorn. I have sworn that to myself. Oh, God. No, boomerang. Boomerang, come back. Come back. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, we're alive. Barely. Okay, so, oh, no, come on. A pigron. A pigron. Are you map? Come on. I am not ready for a pigron. What? <laughs> okay, well done. You can now collect your reward. What's my reward? <laughs> Please. All right, so we got a flask of fire, uh, another sword. I'll take that. Can you have multiple enchantments or is it... Oh, they replace each other. All right. We also got an enchanted sword, which is actually pretty decent. Okay. Thank you. All right. Trial of resilience. Only the toughest paladin shall put through and obtain this room's blessed and invincible reward. Blessed with invincibility? That might be useful. Take this gem to the top of the area to beat the trial. Doesn't look so tough to me. This is going to be awful. Oh, no. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Spiky balls? Really? It seems like this time we don't have the, the nanites and stuff like that or whatever they were. Come on. Come on. <laughs> this is not fair. What have you done? You've made too hard of a map. That's what you've done. All right. More cave bats. Sure. <laughs> sure. Can we skip this? Oh, that's the top. All right. <laughs> I know where I'm going. Here's what I think. Here's what I think. Bam. Bam. Screw the challenge. Collect the room's reward. I'll have it. Red's armor. All right. Platinum armor. Thank you. Thank you. Trial of Wisdom. Only the quickest wits can overcome the challenges. All right, let's try this one. I'm actually excited to try this one, to be fair. Welcome to the Trial of Wisdom. You'll have to face a series of riddles to prove yourself worthy of this reward. Stand in the middle of the room to hear the riddle. Don't leave until you've chosen the answer. If you get the answer wrong, the platform will reset. Go back to its non-actuate form. Either when you fall in the lava or when you re-enter the chamber, there's no damage or fall. All right, okay. Right. Born in the desert from a corrupted will, has the power horn to stab and kill. This monster is often late to the party. His kind only appears after the sacrifice of Marty. What creature is it? It's a basilisk. Let's go. You have answered right. Okay. Next one. 
I hop around on a normal day, driving away every bit of dismay. But if you're deemed worthy, don't light up my fuse. If you're in the hardcore, that's how you might lose. Who am I? You are a bunny. You are a bunny. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Next riddle. Big brain. This is the this is my time to shine. I've been lost, nowhere to be found. I've been hidden far away from the crown. I fear my captivity won't let me come around before all my subjects arrived in this town. Who am I? You are the princess. Bam. You've answered correctly. See, I knew you'd make it through these tests. I'd assume now you'd have the gear necessary to face the Crimson Overlord. I wish you the best. I probably don't. <laughs> Reward for wisdom. Oh, that's sick. I'll take that. Look at that. It's better than a radar. <laughs> okay. Um, awesome. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Bam. Bam. Let's snack that together. Uh, what do I have to do now? Oh, it's a switch. Way, look at us. Look at us. Once you defeat the Crimson, place the ruby here while standing in the portal. This is the end of the map. All right. So how do we face the Crimson? I think the Crimson is outside. I think this was just meant to be like the trials of worthiness. Ooh, so I found a little secret by uh, shooting this right here. So I don't know if I was meant to find this earlier. <laughs> Next to the corpse, you find a sort of religious book with some scribblings over the text. The tremors are unusual. The ground hasn't shook in centuries and there's no danger. But now I'm stuck here. This, uh, they started digging me a way out. It's been two days. The digging sounds have unexpectedly died off. Did they give up? I hope they're still digging. They must be. Oh God, <laughs> this is what's happened, isn't it? He's turned into a, he's turned into a zombie. <laughs> poor guy, poor guy. Wow, he actually had some decent grub in here. So he had a diamond, he had some ale. Could have eaten all this eggnog, what's up with that? All right, so I'm just working my way back to the volcano now. I'm wondering if the, the double jump is what allows you to get to the places you weren't necessarily able to, to get to. That's what I'm assuming. I'm assuming that probably makes the difference. But this is all like areas we've been to. I, I read some of the wizard's text back there that I missed out on. Wasn't too like crucial. Uh, right. So yeah, you can get back up here now. Yeah, I'm assuming that the double jump is the key. So in reality, you probably only need to do one of the trials if you wanna if you wanna get by. Oh, this would explain why you get a steed as well, so you can run a bit quicker. Right. Let's go up here then. Okay. Ooh. It's not going to be an easy ride. I should sleep for a bit. Set spawn, you might die quite a bit. Oh, God. Okay. Do not proceed if you haven't been to Water Castle. All right. We've been to Water Castle. It's time to proceed. What's this? I'll have to be careful. These geysers can go off at any moment. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> right. <laughs> My goal is like rush. <laughs> All right. What's that? Overwhelmed by fear, you dare not jump into the volcano's crater. There's something about this place that feels wrong and suspicious. Uh, and that terrifies you. Maybe you should come back later. Only jump after you've been to Water Castle and collected the heroic gear. Right. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> was that it? I think that was it. <laughs> I think we did it. We're amazing. We are the hero that the world needed. Yeah, I, I, I do think that was it. Thank God. <laughs> okay, right. Let's proceed down. You can see all the little sensors that are setting off the, the geysers. So it's like you, you, you've you got to run into them regardless. You haven't really got a choice. I should probably chill, actually. I'm going to die if I if I do this next one. Actually, can you? Oh, you can. All right. So you can avoid them. You just walk up a little bit and, and walk away. Let's try it again. Oh, there you go. All right. That's, that, that's all right. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. I do want to stay alive, though. I want to get an extra health pot before I jump down here. Or maybe I'll go here. All right, we're still alive. Do I, do I not have any health pots? Oh, I don't. Oh, no. That's really bad. <laughs> it's, a, it's a really bad thing to happen before you go into the final fight. You don't have any health pots. The map's probably given me, like, a million of them as well. That's the funny thing. All right, piranhas. Got to be careful of piranhas. And slimes and ant lions, especially piranhas, though. All right, let's just keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Oh god, oh god! I I know what this is gonna be. 
This is going to be a nightmare. I know it. Look at it. Right? So what happened? This is it. This is the saga. You, <laughs> you just keep spawning stuff in because you can't kill it quickly enough. Oh, this is a really bad thing to do without health potions. <laughs> I feel like they're triggering their own traps as well now that this is loads of charges. Oh, no. Come on. Leave me be. Game, you're too turned up right now. All right? This coil has gone on for way too long. The fact that this map wasn't built with T-Edit is, is kind of amazing. I think the, I think what the creator did was he built it by hand and then went back and T-Edited a few moments. But like stuff like this, if you built this by hand, what are you even doing? <laughs> Why have you done this? <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, thank God we're at the end. <laughs> now it's just going to be a brain of Cthulhu fight. I know it. But the thing is, we have to be very careful here not to, to take too much damage. All right, have we got auto pulls on? No. Right, okay. So we get a final life crystal, two mana crystals. We also get a recall potion, which is very kind. And we got some buffs and some diamonds. Okay. So let's see here. All right. I'm going to turn off auto pulls for a second. Okay. Auto pulls on again. In the middle of the chamber, you find the Crimson's Core. You prepare for the battle of your life. Let's dance, unholy thing. You remove the core. Suddenly, the Crimson Mastermind appears. A gigantic brain with its minion eyes. A chill runs down your spine. Screams echo around you. The brain of Cthulhu has awoken. Battle. Gear up and remove the ruby. Summoning the brain of Cthulhu, you only have one chance to win the fight. Wow. One chance and no health potions? I can't wait. I just can't wait. Right. So, we know that we can move around at least. We can use this to our advantage. Oh, I tell you what, I'm going to turn these on, actually. They probably turn on, come to think of it. I probably just turn... I'm going to turn them off. Because I'm assuming that when you remove the ruby, they turn on. So, me doing that is probably going to turn them off again. Do you know what I mean? Does that makes sense? Right, I'm going to be using the enchanted sword. Let's begin. Large ruby. Oh, that's clever. I'm assuming how they did that. They're using explosives. Ah, that's really cool. So they're, they're basically like just exploding the exterior or exploding the, the shadow orbs, if you know what I mean. Whatever the crimson alternative. What is it? Blood orbs? Something like that. Right. So the good thing is we do have the flaming flask of fire and all that, which does help. We still have to be careful. This is normal mode, right? This isn't expert mode, is it? This is expert mode. I think, I think we might actually die. But here it is. The final battle. The conclusion to it all. Out of um, instinct, I keep going to press heal. This was a really bad idea. The fact that I didn't have health potions. That's fine. I can get used to it. It's alright. Okay, I'm just trying to stay out of the way as, as much as possible. And slowly work on them. We don't want to get hit by the enemies. I think the enemies probably do more damage than the creepers. Alright, here we go. The brain of Cthulhu. Alright. All those years of do, ju just doing the Eater of Worlds probably hasn't trained me very well for this moment, but that's alright. As long as we can turn our sword fast enough, we'll be fine. And with that, we have killed the brain of Cthulhu. Achievement, the Slayer of Worlds. And there we go. That is it. That is the conclusion. Oh, wow, my voice went. It's because I'm excited. That's the conclusion. Did we even grab the ruby? Is the ruby around? Where is the ruby? Like, for real. <laughs> what happened to the ruby? That's what I want to know. Alright, so we return as the defender of everything. Right, let's go slap in this big red ruby, which I had to go get from another world. Bam. Here we go. The king comes up to you with a big smile. I cannot thank you enough. You have faced the core of the crimson and defeated it, cleansing this land from its destructive wrath. My scientists believe the crimson will retreat. In months, all of it will be eliminated. I have also talked to my engineers and had one of our balloon aircraft fixed. So now the star scraper is ready to take you back home. Farewell, good night. Ooh, water castle is forever in debt to you. Please accept this gift. It's a reminder that although we are miles apart, the men of the West will stand together. Men of the West. Hell yeah. That's it. Men of the West. Amazing. There we go. All right. 
That was so enjoyable. That was so, so enjoyable. You go to sleep. There's a long journey ahead of you. Oak Hills, home sweet home. Step on the teleporter and flick the switch. Goodbye, everyone. Whee! We did it. Congratulations, you beat the map. I'd like to thank Zuzar for allowing me to make this map and the Terraria community for being such a great environment for map makers and content creators. I hope you liked the map. Please tell me if you'd like more of this hot action in the future. I really would. I really would. Shout out to Chippy Gaming, Happy Days and others for introducing me to the amazing adventure maps that already exist. Another shout out to Blue JT Gaming and Chaos for helping me improve my building skills. So the excellence you have experienced in this map. That's it, I guess. I worked solo on this map. I hope you learned some tips and tricks while playing the map. It's my pleasure to teach the players the tiny details of this wonderful game. Note that this map was originally created in version 1.3.5, so inputting the seed won't generate this map anymore. I like to keep making adventure maps for the Terraria community to enjoy. These maps do take a long time to make, but if I can, I'll be working on my next project, so stay tuned. Thank you, Stipulate Venus. I appreciate it, my dude. That was awesome. Hey! Feel free to activate the music box if you want the natural space theme. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. Right, guys, thank you so much for, for joining me on this journey. Um, there are 45 hidden diamonds. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. All right, this is a secret for you guys to enjoy on your own. Right, yeah, thanks for watching me, me play the map, guys. If you made it this far, uh, don't forget to give the video a big fat thumbs up and subscribe. And hey, um, yeah, thanks for supporting me as well. Right, see you in the next one, guys. Peace.